Hey guys, I was asked to do a video on how do you center a log, not center of the pit. So, we know that when we have the log, we have the annual rings, the pit is the center of the tree. And, and when I say the center of the tree, I don't mean that literally, because sometimes the pith can be off to one side. So in other words, instead of the annual rings being even, the pith can actually be here. And for some reason, this tree grew like this. Now this is pretty out of, you know, it's an, it's an excessive uh, demonstration of it, but you can have that problem with a pith. So the question was, how do you center a log? Well, look, it's not that hard to center a log because you have this, you have the bunk, okay? So this is your bunk, and all you really need to do, you can buy tools like, they make a thing that looks something like this, that you put on the log, and it'll automatically find the center of the log for you. But you don't really need to have that, I don't, unless you're trying to be really precise. Basically, just put yourself a target on there, and as long as you're fairly even, you can even put a third line if you want, wherever these cross is pretty much the center of the log, of that circle. Now here, here's the problem with this. When you, and then what you do is you measure from the bunk to the center of that. At one end, and you do it at the other end. So let's just lengthen this log here a little bit for a second. Okay, so we have this log, and um, I just want to draw it so you can see it here. So basically, the, the center of the log is there, or, or, or better yet, the pith is over here, but the center of the log has been determined to be right there. So all you do to center the log is measure from here to the bunk and make these both even. So if this is 10 inches from the, from the center of the log where you determine center is to the top of the bunk, this one needs to be 10 inches. Okay? You're disregarding the pith now. You're trying to find the center of the tree. And why would you want to uh, cut lumber and not worry about centering the pith? To get more lumber. Because sometimes if you center the pith and the log is like this, you lose lumber out of the log. That's one of the reasons that you want to center the tree instead of centering the log. Now, let me just show you a couple things. These are, I'm going to just write bunk on here so you don't think that I'm trying to draw the log there. So this would be the bunk. Now, just look at this for a second. Okay, so you have a log. And if you watch my videos, I talked about bent logs. Supposing you have a log that's bent like that. How do you find the center of that log? I showed you how to do this with a, with a, uh, uh, a string. But here's the point. If I, I don't have a straight edge in here. But if I look across this, I'm going to try and draw a straight line. Okay, you can see that if I'm in the center of the tree here, and I'm in the center of the tree there, and let's say that off of the bunk, well, I'll just use the bunk I have. Let's just say that off this bunk, it's, you know, I don't know, 10 inches again. And say you got this one here at 10 inches. You see what you lose here, okay? You're going to run out of wood really quick in one of the directions and end up with pieces rather than slabs that you can really work with. So that's part of the problem of why you may not want to follow the center or the pith or whatever. You need to try and set this log in such a way that you get the most wood out of it. To be honest with you, if I had something that looked this bad, I'd take the chainsaw and cut it off right there and hope for the best. Because sometimes that's all you can do. But, well, like I say, in order to center the log, which is a simple thing, in order to center the log and to be able to cut uh, the tree through the center of the log, disregarding the pith, just take the both ends, figure out where center is of that, and there's a number of ways you can do it. You can eyeball it. If you want to be more precise, then you're going to have to do some measuring, okay? But, and I can show you how to do that in a number of different ways, but for right now, eyeball the center as best you can. Use a tape. You can measure this. If it's 10 inches, go 5. If this weighs 12 inches, go 6. Do it again, do it again, and you'll get the idea. You might end up with a series of dots. Just go to the center. That's where you want to be. Okay? So, I hope that I explained that, you know, good enough for 
the person that asked me that question. All it is to center the tree is to, and I'll go over it real quick again, take a tape measure, measure the distance from here to here, put a mark halfway. If it's 12 inches, 6 inches. Measure it again on another angle. Whatever the de dimension is, it doesn't matter. It could be 10 and 5 eighths, then you would put down 5 and 3 sixteenths, right? I think that's right. No, it's not. I can't, th I can't think while I'm talking, but whatever it is, you measure it, divide it in two, put a mark there. And like I say, if you end up with a couple of marks like that, just um, what you can do is join the marks, and getting into some geometry here, perpendicular bisector will automatically tell you where the center is. But anyway, that's the way you find that. And then just measure from the bunk up. If you got to block it, block it, and you, you can't go down below the bunk, but you can always put blocks in. You may have to block the toe, the toe end or the small end. You may have to block the big end, depending upon how the log is. And then when you turn it, again, measure to that point. When you, when you make your first cut off the top and you, and you uh, roll the log 90, or if you want to roll it 180, you can do that. You're all automatically going to be what you should be. <laughs> but if you don't and you want to roll it 90 and turn, it up to, turn the cut against the dog, then go ahead and um, make sure you measure again from the center down. Because just because you've cut a piece out of this log here, okay, and that was the center, does not mean that when you roll this 90 degrees, now you've rolled this 90, it does not mean that the center on both ends is going to be where it has to be, because you're still on an unknown part of the log. So just take that point every time you roll the, the well, you only got to do it twice, once when you make your initial cut, and then when you make your first 90, okay? You'll, when, you, when you make your first cut, Turn the log against the stops on a 90. Measure from here down to the bunk again to get the log to be in the center. And then, once you do that and you turn it, it doesn't matter which way you turn it. I'll put a line here as well. It doesn't matter which way you turn that log now, unless you, you know, don't turn it on a flat spot. But you want to turn it to a flat spot, and no matter what you do, you will be in the center of the log. Okay? So... That's how I would recommend that you do that. So I hope that helped you in answering your question. Have a good one.